Justin Joshua uh, did a speech uh, at a protest this weekend uh, in the UK, which has gathered a lot of media attention. Have you seen his speech firstly, Jerome? No, no, I have not. Okay, just to summarise the, the heat he's getting, he essentially said that black people need to support black businesses more. Uh, mm -hmm. Some people interpret it that what should you not buy from white and, and brown businesses um, he never explicitly said that, but he said that we should support black community, black economics, black growth. What are your thoughts, Mr. Gerard? I think, you know, I, I have to agree to him on that, because if you go to any other neighborhood, in, especially in Brooklyn, Russians support the Russians, the Hispanics will su support the Hispanics, you have the Jews support the Jews, but if you go to the, 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 the blacks, a lot of blacks don't support the local blacks. They go to the Jews, they go to the... The, the Europeans or, or the white establishments, and they can find a lot of things in the black community. Sometimes they, we don't support one another unless you're already big. That's what I'm trying to say. And he's 100% right on that. I feel like we do. That's the only way we're going to able to get our respect is when we control our dollars. We control our dollars in the black community. We're some of the biggest um, mass... What's the word I'm looking for right now? Not producers. We, you know, we, we, we buy a lot. So that we don't produce enough. So I'm trying to say, so once we change our dollars to producing, then other than buying a lot of people's products, that's just power, that's power of the money. And that's power, that's power where the money goes to, you know? So we have to support one another, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And the economic factor that is that the more that we buy from another, we can change and make direct changes in our community. Because if we keep supporting other ethnic backgrounds and we're getting the lease out of it, what's going to happen to us? We, we All our money goes out of the community. And it, it was a big study a long time ago that a Jewish dollar stays in the community for up to like 10 to 15 years before it leaves. Once a black black community or black person gets a check, by the end of the week, that money's gone. You know, so we have to really sit down and study our economics. And he's right on that. You know, he's not saying that as a, from a race standpoint. He's just saying you got to support your brothers and sisters like anybody else. You know, so, you know, I have to agree more on that. But a lot of people are going to try to scrutinize certain things you say. But on that point right there, what AJ's saying, I would have to agree with Wow. Those are the words from Jarrell Big Baby Miller. And Jarrell Miller reacts to Anthony Joshua's Black Matter speech. Uh, and it's, it's good to see Jarrell Miller come get out of his own way. Now, I haven't heard the rest of this, okay? Uh, I'll check into the rest of this, but what he said about this, specifically this, that black people need to support their own. And he's absolutely right. And what Anthony Joshua said made a lot of sense from an economical standpoint, you know, and that is really a part of what black people do versus what everyone else does. You know, it, if, if we look at it in terms of boxing and supporting our fighters, why do you think Floyd Mayweather wanted to fight Mexicans bet different uh, or besides fighting another black guy? Why do you think that fighters like him, like him and Timothy Bradley or, or you know, you, like Sugar Shane Mosley even, you know, that why do you think Sugar Shane Mosley fight, it took that long to happen? Why, you know, even after he'd, uh, he'd offered uh, Sugar Shane Mosley money, why do you think that he didn't fight guys like Timothy Bradley, in, which was an undefeated fighter? He was the guy that made a, a, a win over... Um, Manny Pacquiao, you know what I mean? A decision, rather. You know what I mean? So why do you think that fight wasn't made? You know, why did he surpass Manny Pacquiao being an undefeated fighter, which was the base model that Floyd was marketed under, being an undefeated fighter? So it's a lot of things because what happens is that we don't support our own. We don't. You know, I'll go a step further. Why do you think Deontay Wilder is really was really where Deontay Wilder is because he was little known and people didn't support him. The people that claimed to support him didn't. Okay. That's exactly what it is versus Juan Manuel Marquez. <laughs> you seen, excuse me, you seen Juan Manuel Marquez, Mexicans support Juan Manuel Canelo. Marco Antonio Barrera. Why do you think these fight venues were always packed? They were packed people. Okay? From the floor to the ceiling. Right? They were packed because these particular people support their own. 
Okay, and everyone, Asian, same thing. Little Chinatown, why do you think there is a little Chinatown? Because people were able to come together, to function together, and, and support their own. You know, so what Anthony Joshua was saying made sense, and Jarrell Miller knew that. Because he grew up in a place, and I just made a video about uh, uh, Jarrell Miller, honestly, and he, and he showed you about division. Why do you think there were division? Because these people uh, of, of these different ethnic groups, okay, went aside and decided to, to help their own. So when they came here, they were like, look, we got to stick together. We have to do these thing, this thing, you know, like, you know, like a bodega. Who do you think goes with the bodegas? You know what I mean? If you're in Washington Heights in New York, who do you think they're going to go to? They're going to go to the bodega. They're not going to go around the corner when they can go to the bodega because they know, you know, uh, uh, Fraco owns the bodega. You see what I mean? So they support their own. So so many people do that, and we need to learn how to do that instead of spending our money everywhere else. There's nothing wrong with that because if that's the case, why aren't we scrutinizing everybody else for doing that? Any other ethnic group, no one says shit. And what he was saying, like, hey, that's fine for other people to do it, with Jarrell Miller saying, hey, they've been doing it. <laughs> they've been supporting their own, Right? And it's one of those things where I get it, you know, uh, and, and, you know, in America, people like to, they don't like, they don't like to support people when they don't come up because it's, it's, it's a self-belief. They, that's a self-disbelief that one person that has an idea and it's just, I don't know what, why the mentality is, but they, it, they, you know, a lot of, a lot of us break each other down, you know, but back to Jarrell Miller, Jarrell Miller, I'm surprised because he's like, you know. Uh, normally the negativity would flood when he hears the word AJ. You know, he hears Anthony Joshua, you know, uh, tears of anger shoots to his brain and he's ready to go off. <laughs> he's living off going off on Anthony Joshua, but he's supporting him and that just shows you an example why this is very positive, people. You know, the, you know, I don't know what Jarrell's true beef, beef, beef was with Anthony Joshua. Maybe he thought he was a fake, a phony or whatever. But he genuinely did not like him, whatever, right? He didn't like the dude. He called him out. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what really happened behind the scenes, behind the scenes. If anybody, he would be more mad at Dillian White or Deontay Wilder because he had personal relationships with, you know, they had relationships with with uh, with uh, women in common. You know, they, they had, you know, they dated the same woman. But Joshua, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. But... It's good to see him do that because that's the first step, okay? That's the first step when dealing with um, unity, you know? Forget about the differences. Let's work about agreeing and doing the same things together, you know? So, and I'm really surprised at Jarrell Miller because normally he would have shot Anthony Joshua down. Hold on a second. Let me listen to a little bit more while they're talking about Anthony Joshua. Stay tuned. Jerome, moving on, uh, I saw in your Instagram story, I think it was yesterday, something about Deontay Wilder, a uh, mm. fight with Malik Scott, where... Okay, well, that is another subject for another video. So, that concludes that, hey, he 100% agreed with Anthony Joshua, no bad blood, no shit talk, no beef, nothing that started. He planted no seeds of negativity whatsoever, and it was absolutely great. And again, I got to take my hat once again off to Jarrell Miller because people are coming on the same page. It just shows you that boxing is, is a sport, you know, but it's certain things that are um, uh, more important than the sport, okay? Human life is more important, you know, and a protection of human life is more important, you know? Providing and helping one another, supporting one another is more important, Okay? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Jarrell, Big Baby Miller's comments towards Anthony Joshua. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.